In this video, we'll be looking at non-count nouns and common categories of non-count nouns. Let's begin. There are a number of categories that can help to remember which nouns are non-count. This is a list of those categories and we will be looking at each one of these um, individually. First of all, we have whole groups that are made up of similar items. Some of these words are clothing, equipment, food, makeup, stuff, money. These words are all non-count nouns that express a whole group of items. Let's look at a specific example. Male is a non-count noun that is a whole group. The individual items that are part of this group are letters, postcards, bills, and advertisements. These are all count nouns. Another example is fruit. Individual items are grapes, bananas, apples, oranges, but fruit, the word fruit itself, is non-count because it expresses the whole group. Another example is jewelry. So we have the individual items, necklaces, rings, bracelets, pins, these words are count nouns, but the word jewelry is a non-count noun because it represents the whole group or category of items. Next we have fluids or liquids and gases. Soda, juice, oil, lemonade, blood, milk. These words are all examples of liquids and they are all non-count nouns. So an example is the price of oil is expected to rise. Oil is a liquid and it is a non-count noun. Helium, smoke, oxygen, air, pollution, steam, these are all gases and these are also non-count nouns. We could see black smoke from the house fire. So smoke in the sentence is a non-count noun. So you can see that the non-count nouns do not are not in the plural form and they do not have an article like a or un or a number before them. Another category is solids or materials. Here are some words in this category. Copper, cement, silver, gold, iron, ice, bread, butter, cheese, meat, paper, cotton. These are all materials or what something is made out of. Some examples, sentences. This artist works in silver and gold. She breaks bread every day. So even some food items can be considered materials or solids. Another category is particles. These are things that are so tiny that they are not counted individually. Rice, chalk, corn, dirt, dust, flour, grass, hair, pepper, salt, sugar, sand. These are all particles and they are non-count nouns. He doesn't eat white rice. He only eats brown rice. Please add some salt and pepper to the soup. So for example, we would never say rices because we do not count the word rice. Abstract nouns are ideas or concepts which are not concrete and they cannot be touched. So abstractions are another common category of non-count nouns. But keep in mind that not all abstract nouns are non-count. There are many that are count as well. Here's a list of abstract nouns. There are even more in the textbook. Here are some example sentences. We have a lot of homework this week. I may not have time to do it all. Can you give me some advice on how to increase my confidence? So these words, homework, time, advice, and confidence are all abstract nouns and they are all non-count nouns in these sentences. Languages and fields of study are also non-count nouns. For example, Chinese, English, Spanish, Farsi, Russian. 
He speaks Spanish and English, and he's learning Chinese. These are non-count nouns. Fields of study are also non-count. History, chemistry, engineering, mathematics. Engineering is the most popular major at this university. Mathematics is also very popular. So just keep in mind that even though mathematics has an S on the end, it's not plural. It's actually non-count and singular. So it has a singular verb to match it. Recreation and activities are non-count. Examples of uh, recreation are baseball, soccer, tennis, golf, chess, poker. Soccer is his favorite sport, and his favorite card game is poker. Activities such as driving, studying, traveling, and walking are non-count. And other gerunds, so you'll see, you'll notice that these words all have the ing ending. They look like a verb with an ing, but they're actually being used as nouns. These are called gerunds. For example, she enjoys traveling, but she doesn't like driving. Natural phenomena are also non-count nouns. For example, moonlight, fog, weather, hail, humidity, heat, electricity, rain, darkness, fire, lightning, gravity, and many more. Here's an example sentence. He doesn't mind heat, but he can't stand humidity. So you'll notice that these non-count nouns are not plural, and they do not have an article or a number coming before them.